Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Brew with Nanli. Today, I'm going to show you how I brew our newest coffee from Ethiopia, and I will do also a quick review of the new Sibirist B3 filter. So, our new Ethiopian natural comes from Jedeb near Gachefe. It sits at 2200 meters above sea level. The owner of the dry mill is Neguse de Belab, previously managed the Chelbesa washing station and now owns his own station called Denche since 2019. And that offered a slightly more trustable and higher quality bean because he purchased cherries from the very nearby farmer. As a result here, we have a Wolisho and Dega variety. So it's part of the heirloom varieties, but more precisely, Wolisho and Dega. It's obviously dried on raised bed for 10 to 14 days and is the current harvest. Notes here are strawberry, vanilla, bit of apricot, and quite floral. It's a very clean, very sweet, and very fruity cup of coffee. It's one of the cleanest and most flavorful coffee I've tasted around that region when it comes to Ethiopian natural this year. Now, let's move on to the recipe. I'm using 12 grams of coffee for 200 grams of water at 93 degrees Celsius, which is a little bit uh, hotter than what I'm used to. And that's because I'm going to use the new Sibarist B3 filter. That offers a cone shape, but the bottom is slightly flattened. I'll show you after I do my little origami work here. How this slightly trapezoidal shape that will fit in your cone dripper and that will allow a special different kind of flow. First thing that I've realized when uh, brewing with B3 is the flow. It is not as fast as the classic fast filter, but it allows a very homogeneous um, extraction and a slightly different result. I will share another video when I'm comparing those two filters because usually on the fast filter, I need to grind relatively finer, really, really fine. Here, not as much. So if, for example, my grind size is on a 8.75 or 8.5, I just go down to 8.25, just one or two um, steps finer. So if, so if you are using a Comandante at, say, 27 clicks, with this um, new filter, use maybe 25 or 24 clicks. Not super, super fine, but just a tad finer. That's it. For this coffee, I recommend a good uh, five to seven days of um, rest. It's a light roast for nine minutes and 25 seconds with only one minute of development time and about three to four degrees on development uh, degree. So as usual, I'm going for my classic four pore structure with more aggressivity in the beginning and less as we are progressing. The advantage of this filter is, first of all, easier to fold than uh, the flat one. And uh, compared to all the classic filter, it offers the best of both worlds. You have the cleanliness of a cone-shaped filter, but also the sweetness and the complexity of a flat bottom. So that's why I'm aiming for a end time about two minutes and 20-ish, right? Um, so 2.10 to 2.30. With a Cafec, or, which is my go-to filter, I go 2.30, maximum 2.40 for this coffee. If you're using the Sibarist, you can uh, get a little bit um, shorter, but not as short as the classic fast one. And the flavor of this coffee, especially when ground a little bit finer, you really um, you can really sense the strawberry, the apricot, the vanilla sweetness is incredible, and the florality. I really want you to get the florality uh, because I didn't want to push the roast too much, so we still get that clean floral taste to it. Ish. And then we wait, and it will be quite fast. You won't have issue with clogging, and you will have a slightly more balanced cup of coffee than what you can experience sometimes with a fast filter. The fast filter really works with certain coffees. It kind of alter the balance of the coffee by getting, more, by getting more texture and more aftertaste. Your perception of the flavor will change a little bit. 
for example, if it's like say, let's say strawberry, vanilla, and floral, you will perceive more the vanilla aspect, the sweet aspect, rather than the floral and the fruity one, which are a little bit lighter flavors. And we are done here about two minutes and 25 seconds. All right, let's taste it now. Mm, on the smell, quite balanced, you know, berries, floral, vanilla, not so much apricot yet. Oh, actually, it's getting there uh, as it cools down. But it's the thing that I believe, and I have to do more tests on the B3. That was just, I think, I've done 12 or 13 brews with it. I want to use even more with all kind of coffees. The one positive note is that you have no clogging. You don't have to grind super fine because with, as I explained, with finer grind size, you may have more fines depending on the grinder. And every grinder is different. Every coffee reacts different to different grind size, which alter uh, not just the complexity of the brew, but also your perception of it. As I explained, thicker texture will make you perceive probably less the fruitier, the fresher, the floral note, and maybe more the sweeter compound. Here I really found that great balance of berries. It's really pleasant and vanilla. So compared to a classic cone shape, you are definitely not emphasizing the brightness or the clarity, but the balance of it. Because here you have a quite syrupy texture. With this, you have a perfect way to introduce lighter roasted specialty coffee grade coffee to a wider audience that will appreciate the sweetness and the balance aspect. And the amazing thing is that if you are like me, a lover of those brightness, right? You can just grind coarser. You can just grind the same way you grind for a regular filter. And you will find an even more beautiful cup of coffee with slightly more texture, a little bit more lingering and smooth. As it cools down, it gets a little bit sweeter and sweeter. You are losing the florality, but gaining more on that vanilla and finally the apricot, the, the sort of the stone fruit. Mm. Get your bag. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to produce more video with more comparison out the full triangulation with the different um, filters again, because this is a true game changer as they said on their website. And uh, I'll come back with a result of a true triangulation, a blind triangulation where there is no BS basically. So see you on the next video with a triangulation between the Sibaris B3 and the fast filter. Thank you very much for watching. Don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and just comment. Tell me what, uh, what you wanna learn next. See you next time for more brewing video. Thank you.